Alright, hi there everyone, good evening. Uh, so today we've got uh, just to quickly run through the analysis. It's an interesting day because um, in the start of the day, for most part of the London morning session in New York Open in the first half, we didn't really have uh, much in the way of trade. I mean, all the movement you see up here, you see up here, it was just after 5.30. Um, when massive movements started to happen and this was all coinciding with the um, Fed Chair Powell's speech um, and then you had this massive movement from 118.940 where the price had come down to uh, on Euro USD for example and it went up, up to all the way up to about uh, 119.834 so you can see that's about 80 pips there that the price moved within this timing so again, a massive move for one session uh, with, with pricing in Euro USD. Um, then uh, at the moment, it's looking like it, the bar price is hovering around 119.837. Now it might be due a pullback, uh, which can possibly take place at. Uh, if you were to look at a level again, we could see a pullback at about 119.645 level could also happen at uh, uh, could also happen at this level so that's about uh, one just under about 119 1197 just some 119 730 you level you can see a pullback at this level uh, and carry on so there's a long pullback there first first option looking for your USD Pound dollar again, you can see similar story, massive, massive, massive uh, movement in pound dollar. It was 6 o'clock, the movement started to happen and moved all the way from, again, we are looking at, um, what was the level we at, uh, 138905, let's say roughly to 139652, so that's what are we looking at, well, if you look at the top end, it's going at 139700, so again, we're looking at about 80 pips, 80 pips there again, 80 pips uh, in pound dollar, and uh, the price has moved up. It's fantastic movement there, fantastic kind of like, uh, well, people, if they were all logged in at that time, uh, coincidentally, I wasn't, uh, and because the trade was so slow in the morning meant that I just didn't really get the positioning or, or how I would possibly like something like this, where you've got more of a trendy market. So pound dollar at the moment again you're looking at a long pullback at around 139.505 level that's about here 139.505 a long pullback uh, could take place again it could also take place you can see up here nice levels um, so yeah that's that's where you're looking at a long pullback dollar cat again um, so trade up here, uh, mine closed up on break even again because I had taken it so late and it was late in the evening, most of the movement had happened. I mean the price at the moment is hovering around, uh, possibly around, yeah, oh, 10 pips below where I actually, or well, less than 10 pips below where I actually took the position. So that's just fun, 24018, that's why mine closed in break even, which is fine. One trade, uh, it was just too late, I couldn't get get to the computer around 6 o'clock, the last time I saw was around 7 o'clock where the price was already in this phase. So again, if you look at a possible pullback level, you can see, 2 touch, possibly 3 touch. Uh, so, could be at this level, again, you're looking at, boom, so anywhere it could touch here for a short pullback on dollar card and that's pullback can take place at around one two between one two four one four zero two one four one two four one nine five mark anyway there anywhere anything above that again you're looking at going into a breakout phase long or short so that's dollar card Again, guys, you can see all that analysis have been done by our expert an analyst up here. And if I was to show you his, his, for example, reading on 
Hey, you can see the same level as we I picked up on it. Yeah, you know, he's looking at uh, more specifically 139 prices at the moment. I mean, when he did the analysis, it was already riding up. So we're looking at the same kind of levels for the pricing. But the analysis are done, guys, for the London morning session, New York Open, and the Asian trading session, just so that so that people have a kind of place or a point to actually get to actually get uh, their positioning. So again, you can see when he did the analysis at nine o'clock, there was a long, there was a retest at around the you can see the blue fifth channel, and then the price has actually gone for a pullback. It's already developed that pullback, and it's going long. <coughs> So you guys, ex expert analysis on these pairs, um, award-winning uh, analyst, London Forex Trade Show 2019. Guys, if you're interested, go to www.forexeasytrades.com and get in touch with me. Uh, and we can kind of like give you any answers you require or anything that you want to query about. Uh, it's all overboard, guys. Get yourself kind of involved. Show that you can really you have you can attain the skill uh, and it really is a skill that can, once you've got you once you got it it will pay you for a lifetime uh, and that's what it's about guys uh, really getting that skill and making it count so here you go uh, all the analysis I mean that you you get full prompts as when to consider banking some pips or moving your stop loss um, you know, an analysis and how pullback long opportunities again. You see, it four hours ago when the market was developing, where the market was right here, and then he had said that if it was to go a high from here, boom, you're looking at a long pullback and exactly performed like this guy. So analysis are there done all the way through. This was a six o'clock where the trade was six o'clock. You can see where the trade was, and then it just never looked back. Massive 80 pip movement. So you know what, guys, it's all about whether you can be disciplined enough you can get on at the time it happens you can keep yourself in the right frame of mind and 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 just get work with it www.forexeasytrades.com get in touch and let's see if this can work for you